Hey folks, Larry from Achieving Reality, the podcast. Have you been trying to figure out what subscription box to sign up for? If you're a movie buff, then I've got what you need, baby. Horror Pack. For just $19.99 each month, you'll get three DVDs and an exclusive. Or you can spend $24.99 and snag three Blu-rays and an exclusive each month. Just go to HorrorPack.com and pick your plan. Now, you've been told what to do, so go do it. HorrorPack.com Oh, it helps when you hit the record button instead of the stop button. Oh yeah, that's working much better now. Alrighty, you crazy nutbag. It's time for another Achieving Reality, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it. That's what we're here for. Your entertainment. Quite literally. (laughs) Alright, so this week we talk birth control and Doritos. Yeah, there's a good mix for you. Throw in a little ice cream and hey, who knows? All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Achieving Rally, the podcast. We'll see you at the end. Bye. Hey, Chris. Hey. Hey, Marissa. Hey, Larry. Give me the parentheses. Give me music. We're going to learn something new today. Are we? We are. We are, we are. Marissa might be not so much. Might be not so much. Why is that? Because we're on WikiHow, and it's time to learn how to start on birth control. How to start on? Start birth control. Oh, yeah. Which is which is funny, because, you know, if you're using abstinence as birth control, then you've already started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I already know about birth control, so what are you going to tell me that I don't know? Experts <laughs> say, well, I well, said you Wiki might not. It's WikiHow. You have no <laughs> idea what they want. Experts say the best birth control also called contraceptives, for you depends on on what's easiest and most comfortable for you and your partner. Birth control helps you to prevent pregnancy, may provide other benefits like regular menstrual cycles. Uh, Research suggests that different contraceptives can be, yeah, sure, can be more effective than others and uh, some also help prevent sexually transmitted infections. Oh, so now it's an STI, not an STD? Yeah, I have to change it very softly because yeah. reasons. Yeah. Fortunately, there's a method of birth control that works for everyone's needs. So pick the one that appeals to you. It's a buffet. It's a buffet. Method, uh, method one, determining the right kind of birth control. Consider your family wishes and lifestyles. When you decide to use birth control, there are many factors you should consider, such as if you want children. Well, if you're using birth control, No. If you we want, want children, but we need birth control. Yeah. If you want to take pills or not worry about taking daily medication and your lifestyle, including if you travel frequently. Thinking about these questions can help you determine the most appropriate form of birth control for you. How much impact does, if you travel, how much impact does that really have on your decision? Uh, if, you're taking sure the month, tra- if you're taking the monthly pill, then you might be overseas when it happens. If you're traveling for like months on end and maybe most people travel there away for a week two explore the different types of birth control there are many different options for birth control you can use exploring the various types of birth control can they say this more in like just two sentences can help you decide which option is appropriate you can choose barrier methods that are put on or inserted right before sex including male and female condoms a daffaram a cervical cap and spermicide If used properly, these methods can protect against pregnancy, but you may want to use a secondary method to help ensure you don't get pregnant. For example, if you're using condoms, which have a failure rate of 2 to 18%, wow, it's gone up a lot. Lord. You may also want to use... Dollar General started sucking. Yeah. Uh, You may want to use spermicide, hormonal birth control, which has a low failure rate of less than 1 to 9%, are a good option if you want to avoid pregnancy or in a long-term relationship. Different types of hormonal birth control are the pill, a patch, vaginal ring, 
Birth control pills can have the uh, added benefit that they can help regulate your menstrual cycle. You can choose a UDI, hormonal shots, contraceptive implants, if you want to wait to have children. Sterilization. With birth control, you're building a cyborg. <laughs> Sterilization, uh, so vasectomies or tubal ligations. Uh, natural family planning avoids medications and more immediate methods such as condoms altogether. Uh, so only the Catholics and the uh, Mormons can use that. Otherwise known as the rhythm method. NFP includes the rhythm method. Checking cervical mucus in basal temperature or withdrawal. I don't know. Three, be aware of potential you risks. You need a lab aid to help you. I know. What's your temperature? <clears throat> Keep monitoring it. Three, be aware of My potential kids, I'm busy. Potential risks of different birth control methods. Every birth control method comes with potential risk, including unwanted pregnancy. Well, that is the most unwanted risk if you're using one. Well, I don't know if that's one of those unwanted risks related to birth control. If you were using birth control, you'd still have that same risk. Yeah. Being aware of potential risks and side effects of the different birth control methods can help you choose the best method. It's like they can't say, like, uh, she wouldn't have got pregnant if we wasn't using birth control. Hormonal birth control can uh, increase your risk of deep vein thrombosis, but decrease risk of ovarian cancer. Barrier methods, such as condoms and etc., can cause allergic reactions and may increase your risk for DOTI infections. Urinary tract. Uh, UTI. Yeah, I'm changing the name of it to Dottie Infections. Oh. <laughs> uh, because her and cats are the only ones that get it as often as well they do. Uh, because they're not drinking enough water. The risk for long-acting long reversible contraceptive methods include perforation of the uterus, risk of pelvic inflammatory disease, ectopic pregnancy, and pain and heavy menstrual bleeding. Although there are no particular medical risks to... NFP, you're at an increased risk for unwanted pregnancy because this method isn't as effective as, effective as other forms. Decide on the right birth control method for you. Once you've had a chance to explore your different options for birth control, make an informed decision of which method is right for you. Not only should you talk to your partner, but also consult with your physician who will prescribe methods such as everything that was pre-mentioned. Two, using condoms or female condoms. Condoms are a thin sheath of latex male or plastic female that are either put on the schlong or inserted into the vaggie immediately before you fuck. You don't need to see a doctor to use this method. You can start right away. You can purchase them some places over the counter in drugstores and grocery stores. Gas stations, truck stops. It's important to make sure... Or general. It's, a, it's, a, it's important to make sure that you or Free your markets. partner... It, Use the condom properly so you can't oh, blow it up like a balloon. <laughs> no, I just tie it around. This, this, no. this will help ensure you don't get pregnant or transmit any STDs. Oh, now it's back to STDs. So it was infections before, but now it's back to being diseases. Hmm. Well, diseases have a negative connotation. You don't want to offend anything. Hmm. Hmm. Two, insert and leave spermicide or a sponge in place before and after sex. Spermicide and sponges are barrier methods that are inserted in the JJ up to 30 minutes before sex and left in place for 6 to 8 hours after the fact. Like condoms, you don't need to see a doctor to use spugicide and you can start using it right away. And you can purchase it in the same places as the others. Barrier methods. Here, this is where it gets fun. Oh, and the picture is wonderful. They can't see the pictures, Larry. They don't want to. Get fitted for a diaphragm or a cervical cap. Diaphragms and cervical caps are barrier methods made of latex, silicone, or plastic. Both are used with spermicides and require a prescription from your doctor. Diaphragms are a small dome-shaped device that are inserted into the JJ to cover the cervix. They are made, made of latex or silicone, and you must use it with spermicides. Cervical caps are also small dome-shaped devices that tightly cover the cervix using suction. They are made of plastic, and you must use it with a spermicide. Make an appointment to your doctor today if you would like to use either one of these. Ask your helpful sales associate. Yeah. To start using this method, have a prescription filled, insert your diaphragm or cervical cap two to six <laughs> hours before sex, and reapply spermicide each time you have intercourse. Because that really helps with spontaneity. Yeah. 
And of course, you want to go to the doctor, get a prescription, go to someone else, get that prescription filled. So you can have as many people in on this as possible. <laughs> Choosing hormonal birth control. And then make an appointment with your partner and say, I'm ready now. <laughs> yeah, get your ass over here in two to six hours. <laughs> Choosing hormonal birth control. One, see you doctor. See you doctor. That's what it says. <laughs> see you doctor. <laughs> <laughs> If you decide to use hormonal form of birth control, such as the pill, patch, or vaginal ring, you need to make an appointment with your doctor. She, 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 it's not always, and the picture they have is a dude. Uh, no, don't be judgmental. It could be a she. Uh, discuss your different options and then prescribe the best choice for your health, for your lifestyle. You must get a, con- a prescription to start any confession. You must get a confession. There are different options of birth control that range from 21 to 365 and have different combinations of estrogen and progesterone. Progestin. Time you take. Words. Yeah. Time you, that you do not take these pills, you will have your menstrual period. Vaginal rings a flexible plastic ring inserted into the JJ for 21 days. And the skin patch is basically the, the pill of like patch. by the patch. And get a prescription and fill it. In order to start using hormonal birth control, you have to have your doctor prescribe it method. You can fill this at your local pharmacy. If you're taking a pill... Well, don't fill at the local pharmacy because you don't want to on your business. <laughs> if you're taking the pill, just remember to take it every day. Yeah, that's what I'm going to Yeah. Uh, it says you start, you should start on Sunday after you've had your period, and then you can just start taking it. Um, the rest is basically on how to take the pill. Oh, here we go. Long-term contraceptive. Or how, how to take a pill. We'll do that one there. It's probably in here. I'll take it. Have an intrauterine device implanted. You don't want a long-acting reversible contraceptive method of birth control that doesn't interfere with daily activities, which most most women can use safely. Have your doctor stick a big old hard piece of plastic or copper in your uh, your womb. That, that just looks more, uncomfortable. That sounds more <clears throat> painful, you know? But then you'll be behind. The picture doesn't look very fun either. Your doctor must insert and remove a U, a, an IUD. Insertion may cause you discomfort and may, you may experience breakthrough menstrual bleeding. None of that sounded pleasant at all. Contraceptive implants. That's the word breakthrough. Yeah. Contraceptive That's implants sound of that. stop ovulation and can help prevent pregnancy for three years. This is basically you become like a cat or a dog. They just, they just give you a shot has the rod in it and it just releases hormones. It looks like you can get them just about anywhere. You get them just about anywhere as in implanted anywhere or as in like Well yeah no you gotta go to your doctor to get them but you have to get them implanted basically anywhere. You can get them anywhere. Uh, Consider sterilization as a permanent form of birth control. They have the picture of a dude uh, schlong and there's a pair of scissors cutting um, the lines going from the nuts into the schlong. Well, what's, you know what's really funny? When they do that, I mean, you, it's an outpatient, so you go home pretty quick. And then they suggest putting um, frozen peas on your junk for a little while. Or sitting on frozen peas. Saw one on TV before they stop showing surgeries on television. All I can see is Jack sticking her hands up right. Or Jana wanted a Tom and I to see it. So we're, we're, we're Tom is all right. And flips the channel. I go, George, what the hell? I was like, why did you have us watch this? She's just giggling, just laughing and choking. And yeah, she thought it was real funny. So, so yeah, so tubal ligation or get get your nuts cut. So that's that one. You can always use natural family planning too. Here we go. <clears throat> this is where it gets yummy. Recognize changes in cervical mucus. Mucus present in a woman's cervix changes consistency according to the stage of her menstrual cycle. By recognizing the change in your cervical mucus, you may be able to prevent pregnancy. You have to go to your doctor. Uh, hello. Doggy. No, she did not get a new dog. She's just watching this one. Follow the standard days method. The standard oh, days. Like, I got women come with a dipstick so you can check their mucus level. Huh. As you go get a prescription, have your doctor install one. <laughs> you can stick. Isn't that? Never mind. Follow the standard days method. The standard days method observes no. the standard rule that the woman's menstrual cycle averages between 26 and 32 days. Following this method will 
requiring you to avoid sexual intercourse on certain days of your cycle. And math. You do not need to see a doctor to use this method. You do have to get a calendar. Yes. Measuring your basal body temperature. This method holds that your basal body temperature or your body's temperature while resting, or your body temp, will increase slightly during ovulation. Slightly what? One degree? Two degrees? You'll need to monitor your temperature every day to avoid intercourse at times. You choose to monitor your basal body temperature. So just don't have sex. Ever. If you're doing it that way. Cause it could literally be a warm day out. You could have done nothing all day. And boom. It's too hot. Oh, I might be ovulating. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> or interrupt ejaculation. E- e- ejaculation. Ejaculation by withdrawal, which actually doesn't work a lot. The withdrawal method of birth control, which is also called coitus interruptus, he's um, cousins of biggest dickus, mm-hmm. uh, is when a man pulls out while fucking and spooges on her chest. So that's basically it. Mercy didn't have any comments except for a couple of groans. Was it you in there? Yeah, this is you. Thank you. Okay, and nobody asked any questions. No, we don't have any questions. So, so that's how to start. Except you know that mucus thing. Yeah, that's five ways to start birth control. Five birth control methods to start. Well, yeah. Then they're not telling how to start. Well, so go to your doctor. That's what what the title was. Go to your was doctor. How to start go to your pharmacist. Control. So okay, so uh, cue. I don't know. Pregnant music. Not pregnant music. Hey, I was at the fair the other day. You never guess what I ran into. Me. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. See you guys. Bye. 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 I'll give Chris a hug too. Bye. 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 See ya. Have fun, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. It's going to be a stinger. Yeah. 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 But yes. Get the fuck out, woman. Get off my crap. <laughs> oh, she left the crucifix. Yeah, Donnie doesn't want it. She thinks the guy's staring at her and, and telling the uh, the place um, to kill her. Maybe. And I'm not kidding. Maybe. Fingers! <laughs> what is that, like third scale? Third <laughs> scale crucifix there? Pretty close. Hey, Chris. Hey. So, uh, what'd you bring us today, Chris? Oh, something that I can't remember if we've done it before or not, so I just thought of it anyway. I brought... <laughs> well, first of all, you did. Doritos Diablo. I don't think we've done these. Or we have, but they were called something else. Mm, possibly. That is possible. So, uh... I mean, it's like chili and something. Yeah. And most of the Doritos we find are chili and something, so... So this is Diablo chili and spices. Yes. So it's not even flaming hot. It's Diablo. Chili and spices. Corn mixed with the rice. That'd make a nice change to the Halo ones we're always getting. Yeah. Uh, vegetable seasoning. Vegetable seasoning? What is that? Oh, vegetable oil. Let's say vegetable seasoning. Cheese starch, iodized salt, maltodextrin, monosodium glutamate, spices, flavoring, rice flour, peppers, glucose, wheat flour, citric acid, sodium, vegetable protein, corn, modified starch, milk solids. Way down the list. Lactic acid, ajote. I bless you. Thank you. FD&C yellow number five, FD&C yellow number six. Sunset yellow is the color. Ooh. That's what's the color of my car. Yaveo? Oh, was it? Yeah, it's called Sunset. These should be the same color as my whole car. They are really 
broken up in here. I imagine they are. I mean, this looks like it was the last bag on the... Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Ooh, yeah, smell. Oh, very corny. And like more than a normal Dorito chip. Like, ooh, a little bit sour in there. Yeah, no sour. Not a lot of heat. I like them though. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. I won't go so far as to say they're not very Diablo. They're definitely not very Diablo. They're very good though. I kind of like these. And you're right. One's a big hit. They are really good. I really like this flavor. Oh, we didn't read the warnings. Oh, yeah. Excessive calories, excessive uh, saturated fat, and excessive excessive sodium. Imagine that. I didn't feel like reading them in Spanish. I like them a lot. And I've been imported from Mexico. They're basically tagine flavored. Because this is a flavor of tagine. Mm -hmm. Well, they can't put that on there. No, because somebody else did it. Yeah. They had those at Walmart. Yeah. Well, they could. They didn't have a deal in Mexico. That is true. But I still don't think Diablo is a good name for these. No. They are not very fiery. Hot. No. I mean, even with the fire. They're not hot, really. Mm -mm. They're, I love the flavor, though. I mean, I would call it spicy because there's some spices in there. But not hot. No. No. Yeah, they, it's definitely got spices in it, but. All kinds of them. Yeah. That's why I like it. I'm not a big fan of the sour bit. No? A little too much. Yeah, well, fair enough. It was a little less. Yeah. I like but, it. Wow, it hits you like right there. Yeah. Right there. That's where sour usually hits. Mm-hmm. Well, I like them a lot, Chris, so I give them a thumbs up, and I'm going to actually probably look for them. Good luck. You see what I had to pay for this little bag. Yeah. But I'm going, oh, I mean, you can get it at the gas station. I'm going on Amazon. Mm. You know, if I don't have them. Just go to Amazon Mexico. Then don't get your prime shipping. Hmm. You going to use the photograph one? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. The photo identify? I think it's like a barcode reader. They have that too. Does that have a barcode? Yeah. They do. I get them. Oh, they found them. Yeah. Oh, I sorry. mean, they didn't find those. They found tangy cheese and, ooh, jalapeno cheddar. I've never seen that. Mm -mm. I got zesty cheese. Nacho cheese, nacho cheese, the baked ones, the tortilla, the regular old taco flavor ones, more zesty cheese, salsa verde, ooh, sweet spice, spicy sweet chili. Have we done that? I think one? we did that one. Did we? Dinamita. Wait, what? It, it puts me another spicy one. Plamas. Chili plamas? heat, chili heat wave. I don't remember that one. Yeah, it's got a picture of... So how many different ways can they, they say, hot, these are hot, these are hot or hot, these are hot or hot or hot? There you go. Wow. That's quite a that's quite a bag there. Oh, I know, right? Tangy cheese. Bad cheese. <laughs> oh, we haven't done the 3Ds since they came back out. No, I don't think we have. Uh, spicy Ranch we're getting, we're Chili getting, Cheese Nacho. We're getting dangerously close to 500 episodes. Yeah, why, we, what's we, wrong with that? We've, done, we've reviewed a lot of things. We have reviewed Probably several things. things twice. But I know we didn't do the 3Ds because they didn't have them until what, last year. Well, they did, but that was in the 90s. And then Crystal Pepsi either. No, thank God. That stuff tastes like ass. They haven't put that back out, have they? No. No. Yes, they did. I'm trying to think. We didn't do that, did we? No, thank God. Because they put it back out, you know we're honor bound to do it. So, or in this case, horror bound. Don't, Doritos. Diablo. Yeah, Diablo. I feel like you should be able to remember that. I, I should. Diablo Mexicanos. Here we go. Doritos. Mexican Devils. 14 grams. I guess that would be the 5.19 ounce pack. No idea. Well, if it is, they want $9 for one. Good lord. For one of these? Yeah. I don't like to buy a box of five bags oh, of Doritos Incognita. This is 146 grams. Yeah, this is 5.19 ounces. I don't know what it is in grams. What is it in Celsius? I don't know that either. 
They have uh, Is that Celsius or real measurements? They have uh, bags of Doritos Incognita. What is that? Haven't we seen that before? I don't know about Incognita, but... Ooh, that's a hell of a bag, too. Yeah. What is it, though? I mean, are they like roulettes? Possibly. Let's see. Um, Doritos Incognita, Chili's Especia, Especias, Sabor Unico Que Encontra? Oh, maybe my French is my contra. So, yeah, it, somebody says, are these Carolina Reaper chips or Pepper X chips? They said, neither. They're from Mexico. Oh, here we go. It's a sizzle it's it's chili, but it's, it's not review. spicy. It's, it gave him four out of five stars. It's good, but I'm glad I found this page. My first order, my first order were a 20 bags of Doritos Incognita. At the moment, two of the bags. It's not sad. Chips, they said the chips were hard to bite. I really hope they didn't expire soon. Try to look for the expiration date, but I couldn't find them. The rest were okay. Getting them in. I'm going to order them. All right. Doritos and Carnita offer a delicious and slightly spicy chili flavor. So it's slightly spicy. So in, so in uh, Larry speak, no, oh, he eating these at all. <laughs> what are Mexican Doritos? Did, it takes you straight to the article about Doritos. Of course, because that's what they are. Because that's what they are. I think that what they were asking is what those wagon wheel ones, because those are also called Doritos. Ah. Oh, here you go. What is the spiciest Dorito flavor? And they say it's flaming hot. No, it's not. Flamas is hotter. I think. Yeah. Got a better mix of spices. All right. So I like the Diablo, and I've got... A couple of bags of incognito or incognita coming so we can try those. So I'm not paying $9 for a bag of these, but if I can find them somewhere for cheaper, like one of the uh, uh, convenience stores? No, like one of the um, Mexican supermarkets. Oh. Supermercado. I haven't been into one of those. I don't either. I want to go into one. And, I and if I go, I got to go with Marissa because I don't want to look a fool. It doesn't matter what you do in there, you're going to look a fool of them. It's fine. They're in my country. Doesn't matter. You're in their neighborhood. No. There's one just up the street. Is there? Yeah. Where'd you go? Now? <laughs> I don't have a car. I have a car. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you should probably finish the podcast first. <laughs> or take a podcast with us. That's what I was going to say. Just road trapping. All right. This is the longest and boringest podcast ever. Now, no, it's in Spanish. It's only a couple of minutes away. Uh, all right. So. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And then they're answering in Spanish. She's like, okay, thanks. Well, see, I can do that. We still don't know what it is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I would. I got seven years. I might not speak it, but I actually understand a fair amount of it. Don't be boss. Where is it? Donde es la biblioteca? That's all my Spanish. Me gusta el lado. Thank you for the ice cream. No. What did it sound like you said? No. No, you, you like ice cream. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> mi, mi, pensi, mi lapis es amarillo. Your pencil is yellow? All right, so... Uh, that too. So Q... <laughs> ew. You need to get it looked at by a doctor then. Uh, Q uh, Diablo music. All right, folks, there you have it. Diablo, Doritos, and how to use birth control. Yeah. Just, yeah. Though the chips are phenomenal. I, I, I can't wait to get another bag of those if I can find them. But, uh, yeah, I don't need to know how to use birth control. So, yeah. But uh, for all of those out there that do, there you go. All right, so for Chris, Chris in parentheses, everybody else involved, I'm Larry saying... Don't insert a Dorito down there, because that would really hurt. See ya!
Hey there, listeners. Larry here. If this is your first time listening, then, hey, how's it going? If you're listening with a friend or just kind of ran into us, I can help you find us some more. You can find us by searching on Spotify or Podbean by typing in Achieving Reality in the search bar, or you can go on Facebook and type in Achieving Reality and find us that way. Thanks a whole lot, and keep enjoying the show. We love you all. You're here, so I have to change my mind. All right, we ready? Yeah, we can't do any wholesome material while you're down here. No, of course not. 